Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ellie, if you are new here. Hi, welcome. Yes. So, let me shoot the popcorn. Nom, 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 nom. So, I thought I'd just film this fun little video. Why? Because why not? Um, and also, as... Ooh, falling, didn't realise. And as much as this is like a little fun, jokey video, hopefully we'll educate some of people who actually make these comments and make you realise that they can be offensive. So yeah, let's just get on with it. And all of these have happened to me. They happen to me on a regular basis. I'd say, if not daily, one million percent weekly. So yeah, <laughs> let's just get on with it. Okay, so obviously one of the big things, what does go through these people's minds when they make these comments? But anyway, one of the big thing is being asked, you need to eat. <laughs> oh, thanks. Is that is that how life works, is it? Is that how we keep the body going? So, God knows I've made it through these 23 years. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Thank God she told me that. Thank God, because I was this close to starving to death, if you wouldn't have told me. Because you know, I haven't had for 23 years. <laughs> Literally, what do you mean you need to eat? Of course, everybody needs to eat to survive. How do you think I've been surviving all these years? <laughs> what are you thinking? Next following on is being asked if you even eat. Um, I think I had a sandwich back in 2016 once, but it was only a lettuce sandwich, so apart from that, no, I've just been breathing in the air. Do you even eat? <laughs> what do I answer to that? Can someone actually tell me if you've ever asked if you have ever asked anyone that? Tell me what you want the response to be. No, I've never ate in my entire life. That is my response when someone asks me, "Do you even eat?" I say no, never. I've never ever ate. I ate some dust the other day, but felt bad. So, do you even eat? <laughs> It's funny, but these are the comments I get on a daily basis from people as well that know me. Like, uh, even the people I work with, they ask me these questions. And I'm just like, oh, what do you mean? Do I even eat? I, I I actually find them funny. That's how much they're just, they're just ridiculous. But the next one is being told, men prefer women with meat on their bones. <laughs> mm hmm if this is the most infuriating comment of them all, actually no, they're all infuriating, but this is up there. I don't care. I, t I don't care at all. There is not one ounce in my body that does something to please a man. I'm, I'm so sorry to break your heart, but there's just not like, if a man liked me, because I was skinny, or a man liked me for being chubby, or a man liked me for being the perfect curvy shape. I wouldn't want to be with him because everyone's body is going to end up changing. Whether you like it or not, you are not going to be a grandma with an unreal body. I'm sorry you're not. After you have children, you are not going to have the body you have now. So if a man is with you because of your body and not because of who you are, then sorry hon, but he's probably going to leave you when that body changes, which it will. So it's probably going to leave you. So I don't care if a man likes people with meat and their bones. I don't care. Okay. This one happens to me all of the time. And although I'm skinny, I am so unhealthy. However, I could sit in front of someone and eat 18 cheesecakes in a row. In a row, 18 cheesecakes. If I ate one piece of lettuce, they would be like, that's why you're so skinny. No wonder you're so skinny. Like, we have to still eat healthy food. We can't, just because we have a fast metabolism and we're skinny doesn't mean, yeah, okay, I can eat McDonald's breakfast, lunch and dinner and not put on weight, but I will be so unhealthy on the act. What is that massive bag? I will be so unhealthy on the inside, which 
to be fair, I am, I do eat really unhealthy. So I have to force myself to eat healthy things. It's not why I'm so skinny, because I eat one orange a week. It's not like that, you morons. It's so hard to just not have a go at people when they say these things to you, honestly. And not because it bothers me, or not because I go home and cry that I'm skinny, because it doesn't bother me. It's just because of the sh pure stupidity of the comments. Another one, when people compare you, like your size, to someone else, so like... The main one, if you're skinny, you'll probably know, is when people grab your wrists and they're like, oh, look how skinny your wrists are. Like, oh, just go away, please. Stop touching me, thank you. Next one, oh, I get this every single day at work. <laughs> is when you're cold and you feel like, oh, I, don't, I don't even like saying I'm cold anymore because the response I get is because... Oh, it's because you've got no meat on your bones to keep you warm. Mm. No, Susan, it's because it's the middle of the winter and we're in a freezing cold stock room with no heating. That's why I'm cold. Everyone else in the room's cold as well. Okay? It's not just me because I've got no meat on my bones. So does that mean fat people never ever get cold or never ever feel the cold? Huh? Mm. Is that how it works, is it? <laughs> I need to stop getting angry. <laughs> this video is making me angry in my own head. Now this one. <laughs> telling you, well, telling someone you can't be insecure because you're skinny. Or telling, or when oh, you make a comment on your body or something like that. Everyone always says, oh, you can't mean because you're skinny or... No, as if, as if you can't have insecurities, as if you just have to be, you have to love your body and you have to be happy with how you look. Honestly, it is so infuriating because people who I know comment on their body every day and put themselves down, which admittedly they shouldn't, like everyone should love their body, but it doesn't mean I have to love my body because I'm not fat. Honestly, I could pick you out a million and one things that I don't like about my body. A million and one things. Being fat is not the only problem. Plus, being skinny often comes with the fact you have no bum and no boobs. Can, can, can somebody just see my point, please? Somebody. And I don't like to moan, like I said, because I don't care about being skinny. But it's just infuriating. This is just a stupid little one. <laughs> Thank God this doesn't happen on the daily, but it does happen. When people pick you up because you're skinny, and people say like, oh, I bet I could pick you up. I bet I could... I don't care if you can pick me up. I don't care. <laughs> Literally, I don't care if you can pick me up. Honestly, it winds me up so much. The main place you get it is with drunk people. Like, if I'm out, or if I'm in the pub or whatever, Someone will always say, oh, I bet I could pick you up. I don't care. Don't pick me up, please. I hate people in my personal space, <laughs> as it is. So when people just pick me up without asking, or why would I want to be picked up? Or why would I need to know that you can pick me up? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. <sighs> I'd say this is like the top most infuriating comment I get. And this is probably the one that, it happens on the most regular occasion, like the most regular basis, and that's being told you're too skinny. Sorry, can someone get me out the little manual of the perfect body and show me everyone in this world that has that perfect body? You're too skinny. And you know what winds me up even more is the fact that you would never ever go up to a fat person in the pub or in public or out shopping and say, You're too fat. It just wouldn't happen. Like it's, how is you're too fat seen as rude, but you're too skinny? Because it's not a compliment. It, it, if you're saying you're too skinny, that is not a compliment. It's 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 meant in a nasty way or a way that is not nice. Because else they could come up to you and say, oh, I really like your body. I wish I had your body or something like that. But you're too skinny is actually so offensive. Honestly. It, to everyone that's ever said that to someone, it's so offensive, it's unbelievable. And I have, admittedly, in the past, turned around to people and been like, well, you're too fat. Not because they're even fat, just for the fact to make them realise, like, 
you can't just come up to someone and, and be offensive to them and just put them down. Like, what if someone was really mentally struggling? Like me, for example. I can't put on weight. I've tried so many times. I do want to put on weight, but it's such a struggle. And then imagine someone coming up to you and just being like, you're too skinny. Like, uh. Oh, cheers, hon. Thanks for that little boost of the day honestly i don't get it because you would never ever ever say to a fat person you're too fat so why are you gonna say it to me and everyone else just don't next time if anyone is going to make that comment just just just, just don't please now the next one i'd say as much as i say the other one's the most offensive this one is 100 percent the most offensive and i have had this in the past i'll tell you a little story time quickly after this and it's being told or being asked if you're ill or have something wrong with you what do you mean what, what's it any of anyone's business anyway if i've got something wrong with me if my weight is due to a health issue like what is that to you it do you know what i mean it's nothing and actually two experiences i've had so one time i walked in toby carvery to go and eat and some woman was like she turned around from her table so i don't even know this woman uh I, I get angry thinking about it and I wish I would have said something more to her but I was just in that much shock I couldn't and she turned around to me I can't remember word for word but it was something like she was like oh um what eating disorder do you have sorry what what like what do you mean you can't just ask someone that out the blue one I don't have an eating disorder like and if I did, who, who are you to ask? Who are you to comment? And what are you going to do if I told you I had an eating disorder? Are you going to give me a quick fix or are you going to fix the problem? No. So why are you asking me? Like, literally why? And another time, I was in the pub and there was this full grown man. I hate when men comment the most. I don't know why. It just runs me up when men comment. Like, full grown men comment on my size. But... I was in the pub one time and this man was in my ear, in my ear about my size. I wasn't, I'd stopped answering because it was winding me up that much. Like he was just going on and on and on and on. Not not in a nice way at all, slagging me off. And this was last year. And this is, I'm not my size due to what happened. But obviously I spent a whole year not eating um, because of my chemo. I was being sick, like I couldn't eat. I was being sick every single day. And I, in the end, I know it's, Again, like I say, not caused because of that, but I did actually lose more weight during that time. And I just turned around and I was like, I oh know it's difficult, isn't it, having cancer and not being able to eat? Because you don't know why someone is that size, so why are you putting someone down and coming in? And straight away he flicked and was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And tried to be like, oh, you look great. No, I don't. You've just sat and spoke to me for about half an hour telling me how i'm too skinny how it's horrible how i look ill blah 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 and then as soon as i make the comment that oh i know it's hard having cancer and being sick and not being able to eat so all of a sudden you're saying i look great don't think so hon don't think so honestly like you don't know what's going on in someone's life so just don't comment not like, what's it achieving what what are you gaining unless you know that person on a personal level and you are say trying to help them out of a situation which say like an eating disorder and you know everything about them just don't make the comment it's as simple as that just don't it, you're not going to gain anything by making the comment it's as simple as that so yeah i feel like i've <laughs> i got so passionate about this video but honestly this is one thing i do feel passionate about because People just find it so easy to slag off skinny people and things like that. But you wouldn't say that to someone that's overweight. Just don't, just don't make a comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is just my little pointless rant video that's got me round up. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.